All right, guys, today we're going to be ranking every single fruit in Blocks Fruits. I'm going to be seeing which fruit is the absolute best and which fruit is the absolute worst. And guys, if you have been watching this channel for a while now, you know I just recently started playing Blocks Fruits and I have been trying to awaken every single fruit. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm still kind of new to Blocks Fruits. So please do not get mad at me if I put your favorite fruit on the bottom of the list and I call it absolute trash and booty. But anyways, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this bang your video all right guys here we go some of you guys might hate me some of you guys might agree with me but guys i am here to bring you my tier list all right so like i said i'm still pretty new to blocks fruits so i'm pretty sure this is all the fruits of blocks fruits all right or this might be an old list but either way we're still gonna rank these fruits and if you have been watching me awaken all the fruits you already know what my favorite fruit is and which fruit is gonna be an s tier okay so you know what let's just go ahead and start now so my absolute favorite fruit is the magma fruit okay guys I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys might think magma isn't even the best, but to me, magma's my baby. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put magma at S tier. And guys, if you don't think magma's S tier, let me let me just show you why it's S tier. Okay, so let's equip our magma fruit, and there we go. Okay, guys, look at this amazing fruit, okay? So the magma fruit has five abilities, okay? So we got magma shower, we got volcanic assault, we got great magma hound, volcanic storm, and beast ride, okay? And I'm gonna show you my favorite move. It is beast ride. Like, look at this, boys. Look at this. I can literally just fly around. Okay, and let me show you magma shower. So magma shower looks like that. Like, oh my gosh, that is sick. <laughs> and the next one is volcanic assault, which is um, like, look at this. Look at my arm. I got a magma arm right now and you can shoot it and you can do that as well. And then great magma hound does this, which is pretty sick too. Volcanic storm does that. Like this, look at me, boys. Look at me. You don't want to mess with someone magma fruit. Boom. All right. And then I already showed you beast ride and guys, that is why I'm going to put magma fruit on S tier. And I think personally, it's the best fruit. Is it the best fruit from grinding? Probably not. We all know the best fruit for grinding is Buddha fruit, but we'll get to Buddha fruit in a second. All right, so the next fruit we're gonna do is the light fruit, guys, okay? And I'm gonna be honest, I really like the light fruit a lot. And before I use magma fruit, light fruit was actually my favorite fruit. Do I think it's better than magma? I mean, kind of, but not really. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it behind magma, all right? Like, come on, look at light fruit, bro. I have a light sword. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. And guys, my favorite thing about the fruit is you can fly. You don't have to take boats you don't have to do none of that you can literally just fly like look at this boom i'm i'm a shining star bro you want to be a star get the light fruit awaken that bad boy and you'll be a star and the best part about light fruit like look at the pvp bro this is so fire like boom i'll be honest it doesn't do the best damage i think it does some pretty good combos look at this you got hand of emperor that's pretty fire you got light speed destroyer which does that oh my goodness <laughs> and then you have wrath of god look at this Oh my gosh. But like I said, it doesn't do the best damage, which is why I put it behind magma fruit. So uh, yeah, that's my light fruit. And why is this NPC trying to kill me, bro? Okay, so her next fruit is gonna be the dough fruit. And a lot of people tell me this is the best fruit in the game, okay? When I awakened the fruit, I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, dough fruit is the best. But then I awakened the magma fruit and the light fruit. And I I'm gonna be honest, guys. You might hate me for this. You might be like, Fulton, you are stupid. There's no way you think that. But I think light fruit and magma fruit is better than dough fruit. Okay, I know it sounds dumb. I don't know. I don't know. Do, does any of you guys agree with me? M maybe not, but it's definitely an S tier fruit. Okay, it's definitely an amazing fruit, but I'm gonna have to put it behind the magma and the light fruit. Okay, but I will say this. I think the animations and the combos for the dough fruit is probably one of the best. And guys, one of my favorite move is uh, definitely the donut. You can literally just turn into a donut just like this. <laughs> and then you could like go up walls. Like, look at me. I I'm just climbing up a wall right now. Yo, that's sick. And then watch the combos you can do with this. So like, look, look at this one. This is fire. Boom, wrap them around, swing them, and then you have this. Look at them. <laughs> and then you also have a click ability that you can use, which is pretty cool too. And then you have the doe fist, which is pretty fire too. Like, look at that. That is fire. And then you also have the missile jab. And we're just going to kill the NPC with the missile jab, just like this. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm changing my position, okay? I'm going to say doe fruit is better than light fruit, but not better than magma fruit. So now the next fruit that we have is the quake fruit. And when I was awakening the quake fruit, everybody in the comments was saying, Fulton, awaken the quake fruit. The quake fruit is the one of the best fruits. When I awaken that fruit, guys, this is one of my least favorite fruits. I, I I actually don't like the quake fruit. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, do not get mad at me if this is your favorite fruit and I'm just calling it booty, okay? I'm gonna say it. Quake fruit is booty. I don't like it. I mean, I guess the animations are cool, but honestly, it just all seems the same to me. Like, look at this. This is, this is pretty cool. 
Like, you know, you, you punch them, but it doesn't really do that much damage. It's not really that good for combos or PvP. Like, look at that. Cool animation, but it's not really the best. And for grinding, Quake Fruit is definitely not good. <laughs> but the coolest part about Quake Fruit is that you can, like, spawn a tsunami like this, and it, like... Wh wait, where's that? Oh, there it is. Okay, you can spawn a tsunami, and it does damage to, like, the whole map, which is pretty cool. But other than that, I don't really like Quake Fruit. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna have to put the Quake Fruit... Oh my gosh, I, I feel bad for doing this, but I'm gonna have to put it in the, uh... Okay, it's not trash. It's not that trash. I'm not putting it in the F tier, but I'm definitely gonna have to put it in the D tier. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next fruit we're gonna rank is the Flame Fruit, and this fruit isn't the best, but it's not the worst also. I would say it's, it's a little bit in the middle. I would say the PvP is actually pretty good, but for grinding, it's not that good, and the damage it does isn't, isn't really the best, but I would say my favorite is uh, definitely the Blue Fire Bullets. Like, look at this. This is pretty fire. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. But you also have these other abilities, which is pretty cool too, like that one. And then you also have Flaming Vortex, which is pretty cool too, that does that. And then you have Hell's Core, which is pretty cool too. Oh my gosh, it's like you summon the sun. <laughs> and then the last thing you have is the Rocket's Flight, which is, um, you already know what it does. You, you can literally fly with it, which is pretty cool. This one is one of my favorite flying animations because it looks like you're Iron Man, bro. Like, look at it. I feel like I'm a meteor in the sky. But other than that, I would say it's an all right fruit. So is it an S tier fruit? No. A tier fruit? No. B tier fruit? Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the B tier. Actually, I I'm gonna move it down to C tier. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move it down to C tier. So now we have have the phoenix fruit i actually just awakened the phoenix fruit and a lot of you guys were telling me to awaken it because it was so good the phoenix fruit is pretty good but it's not an s tier fruit i don't i don't even think it's an a tier fruit <laughs> i'll just be completely honest so i had the phoenix fruit and my favorite part about the phoenix fruit is that you can literally just turn into a bird that's like glowing blue and gold like look at this this is cool oh wait that wrong animation sorry but see that's the only thing i don't like about it is you have two flying animations so you can do swift flight and you can do this which is um you turn into a phoenix so you basically only have three attack moves but when you're in phoenix i'm pretty sure you have like all attack moves yeah okay that's an attack move you also have flame exodus which is pretty cool as well and then you have blue flames which is cool L watch this is what blue flames does that's basically what it does. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm stupid. Blue flames is what heals you. So it's like a healing thing. So it's not even an attack move. And then you have cremation cannon, which does uh, that. <laughs> so the only thing I don't like about Phoenix is that there's not really a lot of attack moves. You only have like three or four. It doesn't do the best damage. But other than that, it's actually pretty fire. Because look at me. This is the coolest looking fruit. So I'm going to put Phoenix uh, in the B tier. If we had one more attack move, I'd honestly put it in the A tier. But I'm going to have to put it in the B tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So next is the dark fruit. I'm pretty sure the dark fruit is one of the first fruits that I ever awakened. And it's actually a pretty good fruit. I'm not gonna lie. I have not used dark fruit in a very long time. So I forgot what the abilities even do. So we're gonna react to it together. Okay, so dimensional slash does that. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was all right. Abyss darkness, what does that do? Okay, hold on, wait, I need to do that again. That didn't really look that cool. <laughs> okay, so you suck them in and do damage. Okay, what does endless hole do? Okay, that's pretty cool. World of Darkness? What does that do? Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And Ghastly Step. I'm pretty sure that's like... I can just teleport, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. This fruit is... uh, This fruit is not good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This fruit is not good. I know exactly where I'm putting this fruit. I'm gonna put this fruit right here with the Quake Fruit. I would say the Dark Fruit's worse than the Quake Fruit. The next fruit that we're gonna rank is the Buddha Fruit. And before we rank it, I actually have Buddha Fruit Awakened. So let me equip my Buddha Fruit. All right, there we go. Wait, wait. Hey, yo. Equip it. Okay, there we go. It's equipped. Oh, wait, no. I, I'm stupid. I, okay, I don't have Buddha Fruit Awakened on this account. It's, it's on my other account, so I'm just gonna show the first two moves right now. So, the first move we have is Shift, which, um, basically turns me huge, okay? This is the absolute best fruit for grinding. Look at me. I can literally just turn big. I do more damage. They do less damage to me. Like, this this fruit is awesome. But also with Buddha, you can also use Impact, which does that, which is pretty cool. So then you have Buddha Leap, and then you have Buddha Explosion, and those are absolutely sick. This is the absolute best fruit for grinding. So guys, if you're trying to get to max level fast i would definitely recommend using buddha fruit but it, it costs robux to get it permanent so yeah i'm sorry if you don't have 
five Robux. You know what? I'm gonna give away a Buddha fruit in this video as well. So comment your username down below, all right? I'm gonna give a random person permanent Buddha fruit. So, so here's where I'm gonna put Buddha. Because I just remembered, when I'm doing raids, I always have my friends use Buddha as well. So uh, we're gonna have to put Buddha in the S tier, guys. We're gonna we're gonna put it better than light fruit, but not better than doe fruit or magma fruit, okay? But Buddha is definitely a top tier fruit. So now we have the rumble fruit. And this fruit, we actually just awakened. And when I awakened it, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I know exactly where I'm putting this fruit at. This fruit is just going to the bottom. F tier. F. I do not like this fruit at all. After I awakened it, I was like, dang, I wasted all my time trying to get this fruit. Yeah, it was it was booty, garbage, trash. I don't like it. And guys, I'm sorry if this is your favorite fruit and I'm just roasting the fruit, but I just do not like it at all, okay? But if you don't know what it does, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what it does. I'm gonna show you guys what it does right now. So I have electric flash, which uh, does that. I can teleport, but I can't teleport far and I can do it three times and I have to wait for it to charge up. But the lightning beast is actually pretty cool. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's pretty cool. I can like shoot this NPC with a lightning beast and it does that. And yeah, the damage literally is like non-existent. Like look at this guy's health. He still has max health. <laughs> and then I have thunderstorm, which is pretty cool. I can do a little thunderstorm on him. And then I have sky judgment, which does that. And then I also have thunderball destruction, which does this. <laughs> So as you can see, I used literally all my abilities and this NPC is still chasing me. He's still alive. So that's a reason why I don't like Rumble. And another reason why I don't like Rumble is because basically all the animations are the same. It's just thunder, lightning. It, it, it all looks the same to me. But yeah, Rumble for me is definitely an F tier fruit. Okay, so now the next fruit we have is probably a fruit everybody has gotten. All right, if you're trying to roll for a fruit and you're trying to get something good, everybody always gets the bomb fruit. Okay, the bomb fruit is just, I think we we all know where this belongs okay yeah we're just gonna drag this in the f tier <laughs> i'm sorry bro the bomb fruit is just not good i mean i'm pretty sure recently it did change a little bit so it got a little bit better but oh my gosh i don't even have the bomb fruit on this account okay i'm sorry but i'm not wasting my robux for the bomb fruit everyone watching this video knows what the bomb fruit does nobody wants bomb fruit okay so yeah it's it's in the f tier so the next fruit we have is kilo fruit and what wait what the heck is kilo fruit not on here wait where's kilo why do they not have kilo on here so now we have the chop fruit. All right, guys. And I'm gonna be honest. I don't have chop fruit. I've never bought chop fruit. And I don't even know what chop fruit does. So we're gonna go on YouTube real quick. And we're gonna go see what chop fruit does. Okay, so shout out Noodle Games. Chop fruit rework showcase. Okay, so let's see this. What does the chop fruit do? Okay, so it looks like we only have four abilities. We have tackle, dance, party, and helicopter. Is it even good? Okay, let's see what it does. All right. Um, ew, what the? <laughs> Wait, that's the tackle move? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yo, the dance was pretty cool. Okay, that's the party move. Bruh, he didn't do the helicopter move. What the? Okay, so I finally found out what the helicopter move does, and you can actually fly. What the heck? That's actually pretty sick. I'm gonna be honest. I thought chop fruit was gonna be bad because chop fruit is what? Only 100 Robux? But that's actually worth it. So 100 Robux, you get the chop fruit. I'm gonna put the chop fruit. Honestly, I'm gonna put the chop fruit in D tier. Bro, wait a minute. Bro, what is this tier list? There's no leopard fruit. There's no dragon fruit. Hold on, hold on. I'll be back, guys. I need to find a new tier list. I'm going to put the fruits back where they belong, but we, we need a new one. This is not it. Okay, guys, we're back, and I found a new tier list that has everything, so everything's back where it was, but it doesn't have an F tier, so I put the F tier in the D tier, so yeah, but let's put the spin fruit in there in the D tier and the kilo fruit, okay? I'm sorry. I'm putting the kilo spin fruit all the way at the bottom, and now we have the dragon fruit and all the other fruits, okay? So speaking of dragon fruit, let's do dragon fruit right now, and guys, I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't have dragon fruit. I really don't, but I I have seen what dragon fruit can do and it is sick bro when you awaken the dragon fruit you can literally turn into a dragon which is like sick okay so yeah we're definitely gonna have to put this uh in the s tier i think it's better than light fruit but it's not better than buddha fruit okay so yeah that's what that's exactly where i'd put dragon fruit okay guys um we're gonna do spring fruit and uh <laughs> i don't think i have to show you the moves of the spring fruit or anything we're just gonna put uh we're just gonna put the spring fruit um yeah in the d tier okay yeah we're, we're gonna do that and now the next fruit we have is the love fruit boys all right this fruit you get unlimited riz you can riz anybody up okay okay i'm joking you don't get unlimited riz from the love fruit but i'm not gonna lie the love fruit is pretty cool it has some pretty cool animations you get like cupid's bow and stuff like that but is it good for pvp um i mean it's all right honestly i think the love fruit is probably on the same tier as the phoenix fruit so i'm gonna put it right there and guys i know you're probably looking at the chart like bro this chart sucks i know i've already said this but guys it's my own opinion 
opinion. Don't get mad. Don't dislike the video either, okay? Do not dislike. Hit that like button and that subscribe button, guys, because we just hit 200,000 subscribers and that is crazy. Thank you guys so much. So next up, boys, we have the Shadow Fruit. And let me tell you this right now. I actually really like the Shadow Fruit, okay? See, on this account, I don't really have a lot of fruits because on this account, I'm trying to awaken all the fruits and level it up. So I don't have it on this account. But let me tell you, the animations of the Shadow Fruit are awesome. You have a Somber Rebellion. You have Shade Nest. You have Nightmare Leech. You have Corvus Torment and Umbridge, all right? You have all those abilities. They're pretty fire, pretty cool. Is it the best for PvP? I wouldn't say it's the best because we know, like I said, Buddha is the best. But I think it's a pretty good fruit. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put the Shadow Fruit up here. Yeah, I like Shadow Fruit a lot. Diamond Fruits. Okay, I, I don't like Diamond Fruit, okay? I remember one time I bought Diamond Fruit. I used it before and I just didn't like it. It's all right. I'm going to have to put it in the D tier. I'm sorry. I, yeah, it's in the D tier. I think it's better than Kilo and Spin Fruit. Not better than Bomb Fruit, though, okay? So I'm going to have to put it behind the Bomb Fruit. Because with Diamond Fruit, you literally just, like, you turn into a diamond. And you don't really have that many PvP abilities. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to go ahead and put it right there. Okay, so now we have the Ice Fruit. I'm going to be honest, Ice Fruit is sick, bro. My favorite ability of the Ice Fruit is when you're literally just ice skating. And you're just moving so fast. Like, I think that's so cool. And I also love the animations of the Ice Fruit. Because, like, when you use the Frozen Dragon, you can, like, shoot ice at people and all that. So I think it's a pretty good fruit. I think it's a lot better than Phoenix and a lot better than Love fruit so i'm gonna put this in an a tier okay wait is this supposed to be portal fruit right here <laughs> and portal fruit is i would say it's a c tier definitely c tier because there's not a lot of pvp but if you need to move around the map and do quests really fast like it's the best you can literally switch from this map to this map you can move all around the world instantly honestly i would say portal fruit is better than flame so i'm gonna put it ahead of flame yeah the sand fruit so i haven't really used the sand fruit that much but i know what some of the abilities do you can like turn into a ball of sand which is pretty cool but i haven't really Really used it that much okay but i'm gonna be awakening it soon because i've seen some of you guys comments telling me to awaken the sand fruit so i don't know a lot about it which i don't know if i should rank it or not um i think i'm gonna put it in c tier okay i'm gonna put it behind the flame fruit because i think the flame fruit has better animations but like i said guys i haven't really used sand fruit so i don't know 100 percent no okay so now we have the venom fruit bro and look at this bro the picture of the venom fruit is so fire it just looks cool but just like the sand fruit i haven't really used the venom fruit that much but i've seen some of the animations and the animations look fire just like the phoenix fruit you do have a transformation where you can turn into like a dragon and you have like three heads which is sick and some of the other abilities are pretty cool too i'm gonna have to put this in a tier and i would say it's definitely better than the shadow fruit so yeah we're gonna put that in front of the shadow fruit so now we have the revive fruit okay i i oof I've seen Revive Fruit. It's okay. It's okay, okay? It's okay. I would put it on the same level as the Diamond Fruit because the Revive Fruit, yeah, you can, you can revive at like 50% health, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, other than that, it, it, it's it's not the best. Okay, I'm not gonna put it with the Diamond. That's actually crazy, okay? I'm gonna put it in C tier behind Sand, okay? So now the next fruit, this fruit is pretty expensive, but we have the Gravity Fruit. This fruit costs 2,300 Robux. And guys, just like the other fruits we were talking about, I haven't really used Gravity Fruit because like I said, I'm still kind of new to blocks fruits but i have seen what every fruit does and like around how much damage it does but i'm gonna say this the gravity fruits to me isn't really the best for me i don't i don't really like the gravity fruit okay so i'm gonna have to put this probably in front of love fruit uh, okay but behind the phoenix fruit i think it's definitely better than love fruit but not than phoenix okay so there's still what one two three four five six seven eight nine fruits left oh my gosh there's so many fruits in blocks fruit but guys unfortunately i haven't even used every single fruit in blocks fruits so i'm gonna have to leave these by themselves i can't really rank these because i haven't used them but i don't want to put them somewhere when i haven't even used it so guys i hope you're not looking at this list like oh my gosh this list is garbage and i hope you agree with some of the things i put there but anyways guys i'm fulton and i'm out